Uh, this report is on a feasibility study I did on converting my home heating system from oil to natural gas. Uh, for this study, I set a five-year time frame to recoup my investment, and the reason I chose five years is because in a couple of years I'm going to be graduating from college, and I may have to relocate to, you know, to find another job. So there's probably a 50-50 chance I won't be living in here in this house after five years. Uh, my biggest problem with oil heat is the price. Uh, there's no price stability. Back in 2009, I was paying $2.05 per gallon, and February of this year, I paid $3.89 per gallon. Um, I use approximately 500 gallons of oil each year, so that equates to about $920 of difference within three years. So that really makes budgeting my, my winter monthly expenses difficult. I mean, I don't really know going into the winter how much I'm going to spend. So, you know, it's just difficult. I want something that's a little more price stable that I can kind of, you know, like your cable, your internet, your phone, they're all kind of the same price every month. And that's what I'm looking for, something that's a little bit more price stable. So what I did was I called UGI and they sent a sales representative to my house to kind of take a look at what I have right now. Um, and he determined what, what type of new equipment would fit into my footprint right now, uh, what duct work has to get run, uh, what the gas line running from the street to my house, and, and what it would take to dispose of the old equipment. Uh, that was on September 27th of this year. Uh, the conversion cost, which I labeled initial investment, because it's the money I'm going to have to put out up front, is $6,000 for the, uh, the new equipment, the installation, running any ductwork that's necessary, and, and and get rid of my old uh, heating system. Uh, running a gas line to my house is $726, so the total conversion cost is going to be $6,726, and I'd have to lay that out initially up front. Now, my current heating system, I spend about $1,800 for 500 gallons of oil. I prepaid 500 gallons this year, and I also buy a service contract every year. And what a service contract is, it's kind of like an insurance policy. Uh, a, a representative from the heating company comes to my house every year. He cleans my system, and if anything breaks, all I have to do is pay for the, uh, the parts. The labor is free. And they also give me a 1-800 number so that I can call them in the evening if something happens or over a weekend. And that my total winter heating bill this year is going to be $1,981. Now, with UGI, they gave me an estimated cost, and it's going to be $670 for 500 gallons of natural gas. And a comparable service contract to what I have right now is going to cost $191. So my yearly cost for the convert, converting to natural gas would be $861 per year. So to find my yearly savings, I took my current cost of $1,981 and subtracted my estimated cost of $861, and that comes out to $1,120 per year that I would save doing this conversion. So to find out how long it would take me to recoup this initial investment, I took the $6,726 of conversion cost and divided it by my yearly savings of $1,120. And that comes out to 6.01 years it would take me to recoup my initial investment. Now at the beginning of this report I stated that I have a five year time frame so based on that this, this project isn't feasible. But the thing is these numbers are fluid and what I mean is they change every day. The price of oil changes every day. Uh, the cost of the heating equipment could change daily. And so, just to give you an idea, if oil were $5.25 a gallon and everything else stayed the same, uh, my payoff time would be four and a half years, so the project would be feasible. But conversely, if oil were $2.05 a gallon, which was you know, what it was in 2009, uh, the payoff time would be 19 years. So that definitely wouldn't be feasible. And also, the equipment costs can change. Um, they can be more or less, and that can change the whole thing. And my time frame can change. I can decide I'm going to stay in this house more than five years. Or I don't. I, I move out in three years. So uh, hopefully you understand what a feasibility study is. And you understand my little cost analysis thing. It's something simple that you can use for almost anything. Uh, thank you for your time and good night.